creative people are people that have mastered the structure and the foundation of something. And then that gives them the ability to expand like the entire like width, depth, length of all of what the creativity is. And if we if we use this analogy in like sports, and I'm gonna use basketball because I know a little bit about softball, but I don't know a lot. Okay, you'll have to teach me. But in basketball, in order to be creative with how you play, like you have to have the fundamental stuff down first. Like you can't just show up and just start doing stuff. Like the, the structure of it that you have down, the foundation of what you have down, you get that, and then all of a sudden you can be creative with what you do. And being creative, being someone that is creative, being someone that can think creatively is such a powerful weapon as a young woman. Like not just in sport, but in life, right? Because you can take something and you can see it differently. You can take something or hear something and not take it for as is, but can think critically and creatively around it and make it your own. And ultimately, like in life, like it's about making things like your own. Right? Your own. Your own path, your own life, your own journey. But to do that, you have to have the creativity. To do that, you have to commit to the structure. Like it's all connected. It's all connected. And so sometimes the structure, most people don't get to the creative part of the process because they get bogged down in the structure part of it. It's monotonous sometimes. It's not fun sometimes. It involves failure sometimes. So you get caught in that part and you automatically want to skip to the creative process, skip to the easy part of things. We all do it, we're all human, we all do it. And so if you skip too early out of the structure into the creativity, you won't have that length, that depth, that width to be able to play with. It's like you want the whole canvas to be able to play with. In order to have the whole canvas, you have to have the mastery of that. I think that's, that was true for me in my career. It really was. It was true for me in my career. Like the mastery of structure, the mastery of foundation is what allowed me to have the biggest, widest, deepest canvas that I had to play with creatively. And now you can have fun with it. And then when I tap into that creativity, it touches literally every area of my life. 